welcome to our fourth annual BaseNet Holiday Special. Joining us this year will be our coverage from Boston, Los Angeles, New York City, Oakland, and St. Louis. In Los Angeles, I'm Gene White. Now, joining us once again as our holiday host for the fourth consecutive year, Holly Hurley. Happy holidays, Holly. Wow, can you believe it's been four years? Welcome back. Thank you, Gene, and it sure feels good to be on year four here at BaseNet. And as a special surprise, I'm actually not in St. Louis. I'm in my hometown of Marshall, Texas, with my Aunt Geraldine and my mother, Fran Hurley. Say hi, ladies. Hi. hi. And I'm going to ask Aunt Geraldine, who just so happens to be in charge of uh, one of the best Christmas uh, spectaculars you can ever experience, the Wonderland of Lights, here in Marshall, Texas, to tell us a little bit about it, Gigi. Well, this is our 25th anniversary. It's our silver edition of Wonderland and we have all types of attractions this year and wonderful things to bring you to Marshall to do. We have an open air ice skating rink in for East Texas town. That's sort of new and original. Sometimes we wonder. We have a double decker bus this year and that is really a treat because we have in the past had Wendy's trolley, but this double-decker bus will take care of 70 people, and so come. You've still got two weeks to enjoy our wonderland of lights. Thank you, Gigi. So obviously being here in Texas, if we are uh, national nowadays on BaseNet, and I guess my first order of business is to welcome a new anchor to BaseNet, Paige in Boston at Faneuil Hall, my old stomping grounds. Tell us all about it, Paige. Thank you, Holly. Happy holidays. Glad to be spending my first annual holiday with BaseNet Internet Television. I'm Paige Sullivan and today we're here at gorgeous Faneuil Hall on this sunny day to celebrate the tree lighting. Happens every year. As you can see, it's behind me right now. It's not lit up. But later this evening, Jill Henley will be joining us for the annual tree lighting. There's events going on all day, starting at 11 o'clock all the way until the tree lighting. So we're enjoying music by um, Christmas chorus groups singing Christmas carols for us. High school and college bands are performing for everybody today and it's great to hear them and great to see what they put together for the holiday season. And of course, it wouldn't be Faneuil Hall without street performers. So the street performers are out here, some of them dressed for the holidays. Um, they're juggling on stilts, doing backflips. I'm not really sure. They're doing a bunch of crazy stuff. But they're here and they're um, amping the crowds up and they're getting everybody excited for this holiday season just as everybody else is here today. So there's lots of things going on and people really have a little bit of everything to enjoy here. We're still here at Faneuil Hall and um, we're taking a look at the handsome cab rides that are here and we're just um, talking to you right now. And your name is? Jim Cronin. Jim Cronin and Jim Cronin um, drives one of these and just wondering like during the holidays it must pick up a lot. So what's it like compared to the summertime to the holiday time around here? Well the holiday season is very busy and the busiest night of the year is probably first night. There's so many people come into the city with a million people. Uh, Fourth of July is very busy too because so many people come in then. And the summertime's very busy because there's a lot of tourists then. But more of the locals ride around Christmas time because they have tree lightings everywhere. They come in for the flavor of the city at Christmas time, and we do a lot of business then. Today should be very busy with the tree lighting. Is today kind of the kickoff of the Christmas decorations, or have those been up for a while now? No, it's kind of the kickoff. Right. Kickoff for a lot of uh, businesses around here, too. And your horse's name is? Frankie. Frankie, girl, boy? Boy. Comes from Pennsylvania. He was an Amish farm horse, and uh, he used to pull the farm equipment down there. Now he went from a country guy to a city slicker, made the transaction very nice. But he's kind of semi-retired now. It's a lot easier to pull than the farm equipment was, and he's very laid back. Traffic bothers him not at all. He just doesn't even pay attention to it. We wish you a happy holiday season with Thank all. Thank you. Happy holidays to you also.
This is Jill Hindley here at Faneuil Hall in Boston for the annual Faneuil Hall tree lighting. A big thank you to Paige for being in here this afternoon and covering all the family events and some of the performances. And Santa was here earlier today from what I hear. It's a really nice family day here that they do. And then it all leads up to the big event, which is the tree lighting at 530. Uh, we hear that Thomas, Mayor Thomas Menino will be here to do the countdown. They have a huge Norwegian spruce that has come in from upstate New York and it's about 85 feet tall and there's also many performances Jada has performed here this um, early evening so we're gonna go over and and get ready for the countdown and see the tree light up thank you good evening everyone thank you for coming out on this beautiful day we just want to thank you on behalf of Marketplace Center and all the merchants at Faneuil Hall Marketplace uh, to welcome you tonight and to invite you to come back often during the holiday season and see us and to remember to support your small local businesses not only here at the Marketplace but all around the great city of Boston. Happy Holidays New England! There we go. Alright, before we light this tree I want to let you know a little something about this tree. This tree is the biggest tree in New England, 85 feet tall. And we're going to light it up tonight. I'm going to ask the mayor, Thomas Menino, to come up on stage. Come on up on stage, Mr. Mayor. Come on, Mayor. New England Patriot Captain, linebacker Gerard Mayo, up on stage. And we're going to bring it on. Thank you very much. Let me all welcome to Faneuil Hall for the annual uh, Christmas tree lighting. He stole my lines, the largest Christmas tree in New England. But Boston's a great place to shop this Christmas season. Have a good time in our city and a lot of great events going on. A lot of discounts going on at the theaters, restaurants in Boston. Go to boston.com and see the de deals you can get during this holiday season. But shop, shop locally. For all you folks who come from other places and want to see a, a real city that has tall buildings and elevators. Come to Faneuil Hall, start right here, because you have a real new Faneuil Hall right here in the city of Boston. So I just want to say thank you, thank Gerard Mayo for being here today, but also wish him good luck on Monday night against the Kansas City. Let's go on with the program. Thank you. All right, Gerard Mayo. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, Gerard. I know you get louder than that. I hope you're louder than that on Monday night. everyone for coming out tonight and uh, from me and my fiance I wish you all a happy holidays and not only you stole my line a little bit but not only did we beat New York on the field but we also beat them with the size of this tree so give it up for this tree we'll bring all the little kids up here on stage too folks a moment we've been waiting for oh by the way Captain Hook is here too from uh, Peter Pan Peter Pan that's at the City Hall Plaza, right, playing over there. And Pee Wee's here as well. Hi, Pee Wee. <laughs> All right, folks, you ready, Steve? Three, two, one. was really fun. It was a spectacular anticipation to the tree being lit up. And there was a special guest here along with Mayor Thomas Menino, which is Patriots linebacker Gerard Mayo. So he was a special guest and helped the mayor flip the switch and light up the tree. And it was a great sight. He sees you when you're sleeping.
out and see if there are people that want to talk about the tree lighting. Tell us what they saw and see if there's a, uh, some families or some couples that are in here that want to tell us what they think of the whole evening. So here we are with a family from uh, the Boston area and they just saw the tree lighting. What's your name? Adriana. Okay, and what town are you from, Adriana? Marlboro. Oh, great. And what did you see today when you were here at Faneuil Hall? Um, I saw the tree lighting and now we're going to Peter Pan. Awesome. And what did you think of the tree? Do you think it, what, what, what was your impression of the tree lighting when it came on? Um, I think it was really cool because you could do the countdown then they flipped the big switch. And is it bigger than where? And, oh, and it's bigger, and the tree was bigger than... New York. York. New, New York. York. Oh, it's, it's right. It's bigger than the tree in New York. Great. I'm here with Jeremy and Aaron. And where did you guys come in from today? South Boston. Oh, okay. So you're close. And you saw the tree lighting. What did you think? It was magical. We we loved, we actually we waited for about an hour. Yeah. For the tree lighting, we saw a, a group of four. Um, they were okay. And then saw Gerard Mayo and the mayor, the Mr. Mayor. Menino. Go Pats. Which, which, Woo! Which was great. And then yeah, the tree lighting was simply magnificent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm here with Monique, here still at Faneuil Hall, and she got to see the tree lighting as well. What did you think, Monique? It was beautiful. Lots of confetti, everything's throwing around, music for hours on end, and then you end with a perfect and lovely performance. Good, and what do you, is that why you um, came into Boston today, to see that? I live in Boston, and I see it every year. Uh, it's something I never miss, so I always want to look forward to it. It's a real tree, which most people don't realize. It's donated uh, usually from Switzerland, Vermont. I don't know where it is from this year, but it's it's always donated, and it's huge and magnificent. Well, it was great to meet a couple different people who've been here for the tree lighting. It was a beautiful sight to see the countdown from 10. Mayor Thomas Menino here in good form, leading the crowd in the countdown, and then just the tree lighting up. I mentioned it is a Norwegian spruce, uh, over 85 feet tall. It is from came in from Rockland County in upstate New York. Um, it is uh, got 20 over 20,000 white lights and about um, 1,500 ornaments. And it's just a very festive atmosphere. It's um, getting ready for the holiday season here in Boston, and it was a great day and a great evening. So signing off now from the Faneuil Hall tree lighting is Jill Hindley. Happy Happy holidays. Now, of course, in my time at BaseNet, I've had the opportunity to work with some excellent gentlemen. These two are not included in that description. Larry the Lobster and Fred Boaz in NYC. Hi, boys. Thank you, Holly, and Merry Christmas. We're here at Rockefeller Center. I'm the Lobster. You know me. With me is president of BaseNet Internet Television and the co-host of As We See It, Fred Boaz. Thanks, Larry. Nice to be here with you. Uh, Nice to be here with you. Have you been here before? Yeah, Larry, I grew up about 15 miles from here in Bergen County, New Jersey, so I've been here numerous times. And I always love coming to the, to the area, coming to New York City, going to Macy's, coming to Rockefeller Center to see the trees. Take a look at the beautiful tree we had this year. So what can you tell us about it? Okay, well, for starters, the tree has 30,000 LED lights, which is new this year. It's a 74-foot tall Norway spruce from Pennsylvania. Oh, I'm from Pennsylvania. It's nice to see one of my hometown tree here. Anything else you can tell us? Okay. Well, the lights on the tree will remain lit until January 7th of 2012. After that, it will be turned into lumber and sent to Habitat for Humanity for housing construction. So it goes from being a Christmas tree to Christmas housing in January. How fitting is that? This is my first time seeing the uh, tree at Rockefeller Center in person. So what do you think of it? I think it's a great tree. You know, I got some good pictures of it. Well, anyway, it's nice to be down here with you for the first time, for BaseNet, and the first time in New York City. We're finally getting our footage from New York. Well, it was great to have you here. Thanks, Larry. Appreciate it. Okay, and now back to you, Holly. Thank you, boys. Excellent job. So now, of course, we've got to go to the other coast. We're going to throw it out to Julie in L.A. Here at Universal Studios Hollywood, the official Christmas season has officially started with the annual holiday hoovulation. I'm Julie Marie about Los Angeles. At Universal Studios Hollywood, it happens each year. The treasures of Grinchmas begin to appear. So welcome to Whoville. It all happens here. For Grinchmas is coming, and today's our premiere. Like 
Christmas stuff that make no balls and hope will fly. As you can see, the kids have been busy this year. Yes, even in LA, we do still have snow. Happy holidays, Base Night Into Media! There's no way that I'm on that screen. There's a lot of grins to be had here. Are you seeing me? I want to make sure I look good. Excellent. Thank you so much, Julie. And now we're going to travel a little further up the coast to Jessica Moskowitz in the Bay Area for her report. Hi, I'm Jessica Moskowitz about the Bay, the San Francisco Bay Area that is, and today I'm in Berkeley, California on University Avenue at the Delancey Street Foundation Christmas Tree Lot. I had a chance to talk to the manager here at the Christmas Tree Lot. He's going to tell us a little bit about the foundation itself. And I had a chance to talk to one of the longtime shoppers who's been going here for many years. Let's check it out. Hi, so I'm here with Sunny at the Delancey Street Foundation Christmas Tree Lot on University Avenue in Berkeley, California. And Sunny's going to tell us a little bit about the Delancey Street Foundation and what's going on here today. Delancey Street Foundation is a two-year residential rehabilitation center for uh, people whose lives have hit bottom. The homeless, prostitutes, criminals, uh, people who are facing life in prison or have done life in prison. Uh, this is an alternative for them to uh, rebuild their lives from ground zero. So the proceeds all go to? Delancey Street Foundation. We're a completely nonprofit organization. Every cent here goes right back to the foundation to keep it open. We have no paid staff. We have no uh, counselors, physicians, psychologists, anybody who's receiving an income. Everything is to uh, sustain the facility and keep it open. 
So, Sonny, how many years have you been doing the Christmas trees here um, in Berkeley? We've been doing Berkeley Christmas trees for many years, actually. Uh, we've been at this specific location for a few years now. We were located on University back in 06, down about you know six blocks where that uh, new condos are. Um, and so we've been, we're all over the East Bay. We're Oakland, um, El Cerrito, Berkeley. We have five in the city also. Tell me where the trees actually come from. And also, um, the sign says that they're sustainable. So could you tell me a little bit about what that means? Sure. Uh, our trees come from Corvallis, Oregon, with uh, Holiday Tree Farms. And uh, for every tree planted, or for every tree cut is a tree planted. So uh, they don't use harsh chemicals. They, uh, they keep the fields constantly growing. So they're not cutting down forest after forest of Christmas trees. That's great. That's great. And uh, the, the sound going on in the background is actually uh, the staff here trimming the bottoms. They're giving a fresh cut to the trees, right? So the folks can take them home? They are, so they can uh, absorb water. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much, Sonny. You're welcome. little bit about uh, what you're doing here today. Getting our Christmas tree from Delancey Street, which we do every year. Oh, so you've been here before? Oh, many times. Oh. Okay, so you come over here uh, to get your tree every year? Yep. We have for, well, they've been here, they've been, they've had many uh, locations around, but we always, we always support Delancey. That's great. And so you know what the foundation is about? And yes, yes. Uh, actually, all the proceeds? Yes. When my husband, uh, when we were in San Francisco and he was working, Delancey Street had a upstairs from where he was working they had the whole floor and we learned about it oh we've been together 46 years so wow we heard about it probably uh, over 40 years ago great well thank you so much and actually have you found your tree yet today yep yep they're gonna fix it right now awesome great well, thank, thank you thank you so much and happy holidays thank you happy holidays to you too <laughs> Happy Holidays from Berkeley, California. Oh, Jessica, it's always such a pleasure seeing you on camera. Now let's go back to Paige in Boston for the amazing Boston Common tree lighting. Take it away, Paige. All right, we are back again. This time we are at the Boston Commons for another tree lighting. There's tons of them all over Boston for this month. But right now we're in Boston Commons and we're waiting. It's not lit yet, but it's a 45 foot tall tree with 52,000 lights on it. So I'm sure it's going to be magnificent when it finally does light up. So we're just waiting around. It's pretty chilly, a little bit windy as you can probably tell. Um, but everybody's really excited. There's lots of performers. Um, there's American Idol singers, Joey McIntyre is here. So people are really excited for what's going on tonight. for our Boston holiday special. We've already seen the tree lighting in Faneuil Hall and now in Boston Commons. We say thank you to Jill for coming out and helping us out this year. But we're gonna send it back to Holly in St. Louis for the annual tradition, so back to you. Well, as we welcome the new Paige to BaseNet, we also wanna give a shout out to the old Una Farron, who did my very first ever holiday special with me, which was also my first appearance on BaseNet, so I think that bodes pretty well for you, Paige. And of course, here with my aunt and my mother, we are doing a old tradition here on BaseNet, which is thanking everyone who's helped us out throughout the year. So thank you, Mom. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, John Feather, my husband behind the camera. And of course, now I'll throw it to you for the rest of the thank yous, Gene. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Happy holidays.